Hey everyone, welcome to Contra Thoughts. I'm Richard, and this is episode 16, coming at ya. All right, welcome to another episode. We've got some fun stuff, not so much uh, church and religion, whatever. Coffee? We've got the world. Remember, we're against the world. That's Contra Mundum. Pro mundo, for, again, for the sake of the world, against the world, for the world. Um, by the way, that is that was commented. A couple of different people have said it uh, recently to me, and uh, it's not new to me at all. So don't think. Uh, I mean, the pro mundo kind of is. Uh, the contra mundum was Athanasius, long, long, long time ago. So it's not new. So in the essence of being super transparent and not thieving, like that's very popular these days. Uh, I just want to be totally. Up front. I also have Baby Yoda. I was getting a little, usually I wear, dress a little nicer, but I've got the Baby Yoda shirt today. My little daughter, my youngest, she she has like a, she did a little dance where she would do this. And she'd like, and for some reason she's like, dot, dot, Baby Yoda, dot, dot. I don't know. I don't know where it came from, but it's pretty darn cute when she does it. She's like three, so. Um, maybe she was even two when she invented it. We might trademark it, put it on YouTube. It'll go right, viral. No, probably not. Anyway, so we got Baby Yoda. He's hanging out. Uh, Mando's somewhere looking for him, so I should be quick. But we've got some CNN stuff. I don't usually try and cover them too much just because they're kind of pointless in a lot of ways. But a guest, uh, Michael Wolf, who wrote about, he's written about Trump and other stuff. Uh, he's definitely on the left. He's not a conservative. He's not you know, a neocon. He's not part of the Republican Party or QAnon or Tea Party or a Christian or anything like that at all. Uh, so, because he's, he's on CNN, right? Like nobody, nobody of any sort of close to the right is on CNN. They're all like super, super leftist, um, or even worse. And so, yeah, let's watch this video, and we'll comment on it a little bit. I think the media has done a terrible job on this. I think you yourself, um, you know, why you're a nice guy, you know, you're full of sanctimony. Um, you know, you become part of one of the parts of the problem of the media. You know, you come on here and you and you have a, um, um, uh, you know, a monopoly on truth. You know, you know exactly how things are supposed to be done. Um, you know, you are why one of the reasons people can't stand the media. Sorry. <laughs> you're cracking me up. It's your fault. I it's, uh, it's how, so what should I do differently, Michael? You know, don't talk so much. Listen more. You know, people have genuine problems with 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 the media. The media doesn't get the story right. The media exists in its mm. own bubble. Um, That's true. You know, I agree. You, you, yeah. uh, um, you know, you got to stop. I mean, that last segment that 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 I just had to listen to of all of the people saying <laughs> the same old stuff. Also, you're incredibly repetitive. It's week after week. I mean, you're the flip side of of of, of Donald Trump. Um, you know, fake news, and you say virtuous news. You know, I, there, there, no, there's we just a figure out what is here. real. I mean, there, no, we just figure out what is here. real. I mean. Yeah, well, figuring out yeah, figuring out what is real is not so is not so uh, is not so easy, and and right. you know most people don't want to talk, turn to Brian Stelter to tell us what's real. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. So old Brian Stelter. Um, There's a guy, he's really popular on YouTube. He does Brian Stelter impressions. It's pretty funny. I mean, he'll use Brian Stelter and then he'll do the voiceover. Uh, Mark Dice is his name. He's really funny. But anyway, I don't agree with a lot of his stuff, but he's got some good good stuff in there. All that being said, Brian Stelter's here. Now, first of all, Brian Stelter's show is called Reliable Sources. And you think like, like, according to who? Reliable, like, according to whom? Or who? Is it who or whom? I don't know. They're not reliable at all. I mean, reliable, I guess, if you want to believe 
some leftist trope that's not even close to reality, I guess. But the, the problem, and this is really what I want to focus on for a moment, is truth. It's always, ah, oh, I'm about truth. And listen, Brian, probably going to watch this, but those who might say, well, you know, you're being too harsh on him. He's just trying to report the news. Well, remember, CNN, all the cable news, they're not reporting the news. They're radically not reporting the news. They, it's just their opinions. Now, they might take some snippet. Like, this is an opinion. This isn't news, what I'm doing. This is my opinion. I'm a Christian. I'm a follower of Christ. And I'm seeking to be against the world's craziness. But for the sake of the world, to say, hey, you're rebelling against God. You should turn and bow the knee. Okay? And because God is the Savior of all men, especially believers, we can see that it's not some select group of people that already have a pre-stamped thing and you should only go talk to them and everybody else is left out. No, everyone under creation should hear the gospel. And we see this particularly from creation, but most particularly, or specific, uh, generally, excuse me, generally is creation. We see Psalm 19 proclaims the glory of God and his handiwork, but also particularly is special in the word of God. So that being said, <clears throat> Brian's about truth. Mr. Stelter is about truth. Now, I don't know his heart. I can see his actions, though, and we can ultimately know someone by their fruit. Well, his heart, or his fruit at least, is nonsense. It's just complete nonsense. Because this guy who's on blames Stelter, which rightfully so. I mean, he lambasts him, you can say, as you can see it, <clears throat> because of you, because of this, because of that. And, and then he's like, uh, oh, crud, I just go, oh, what's going on here? Like, we can't cut this guy because, you know, he's one of our favorites sort of thing because he's writing bad things about Donald Trump. But he says, you're part of the problem. You're the problem. Now, Stelter, to his credit, asks, what can we do? And then the guy gives him some answers. If you ask me, I would say, stop lying. But Stelter is, is all about the truth, right? You know, Don Lemon and, and, and Cooper and all these other guys supposedly care about the truth. <clears throat> the problem, though, for Christians, and I presume most of us, most of y'all watching this are Christians, but maybe not. But Christians, the, the biblical view, it's not that because it's our view, it's right. It's, it's the right view, and therefore we hold it, <laughs> right? Truth is absolute. Now, there's a lot of people, well, truth isn't absolute, and that's not a new phrase. That's not a new thing at all. You know, thinking, well, that's your truth. It's my truth. That doesn't work. And there's, there's multiple reasons why that doesn't work. But like it, it can't be true that like I'm sitting here talking to you and also not true. Like It can't be true that I'm a father and a husband and I'm also not. Right? Like There are lots and lots of absolute truth. In fact, all truth is absolute truth ultimately. Because everybody has an absolute truth claim, including the fact that someone says, well, there is no absolute truth. Well, that's an absolute truth claim in and of itself. But when someone wants to do something different, they want to live their life however they want. They don't want God, quote unquote, telling them what to do. I'm going to sleep with whoever I want, spend my money wherever I want, go wherever I want, do whatever I want. I don't want any guilt. That's why people reject God. And now people, you know, over the better part of 150, 100, 200 years, people have just now embraced atheism saying, well, there is no God. You know, I love the atheist trope of a, a, God doesn't exist and I hate him. Number one, he doesn't exist. Number two, I hate him. <laughs> it's just like, but it's true. I just had a friend, he was telling me about it. He's a, he's older than me. He's got a grown son and he was talking about it and the guy was upset. The guy's pro-life, not my friend. Well, I mean, my friend is too, but his son is, but he's a radical atheist who's just cranky and angry and all upset. And he's talking about God and how could this and slavery. And it's like, you don't have any ab actual truth if you're not basing your life on the foundation of God's word and his revealed word in Jesus Christ the word becoming flesh and dwelling among us John 1 14 then what you're having is you're you're living in a house that's basically made of popsicle sticks on the sand and it's going to fall down very quick but you think because your eyes are closed and your ears are stopped up and you're like ah it's still fine you know western civilization still good blah blah blah, blah. we can take everything that Christianity and the church and Jesus uh, filled people gave us, you know, cultural medicine and, and, and sciences and the arts and all these things, just go back a few hundred years and you can see this very clearly. People like to deny it, but you know, you can deny gravity if you want to, it doesn't change it. But what people are doing is they're eroding all the foundation and thinking it's still there, but it's really not. And so if you say, well, murder is wrong, but you don't believe in God, you have no basis to stand on. 
no moral high ground at all. Francis Schaeffer, one of my favorites, would say, your, your feet are firmly planted in midair. Firmly planted in midair. And that's exactly what Stelter and all of CNN and probably most of cable news in general and just kind of the media, Hollywood and all the rest, they don't have any sort of even semblance of honoring God or saying we want to do something just and good. We just want to do it be because. Well, we're going to use it because we're going to appeal to people's emotions. Lie. Everybody says it's bad to lie. Everybody. But the question is why? Because if materialistic naturalism is true, right, baby Yoda? Where is he? There he is. If materialistic naturalism is true, well then we're just chemicals. Animals, we're not concerned about animals lying to each other, right? The, the male blue jay and the female blue jay and she's home with the eggs and he's flying around. She doesn't ask, what are you doing? Where have you been? You, you were, you've been gone an extra hour. And, oh yeah, honey, I, I was just out with the guys. You know, meanwhile, he's with another blue jay. That doesn't happen. And if it does, prove it. The burden of proof is on you. Show me that the Blue Jays are concerned about adultery and lying. They're not. Newsflash, they're not. Don't waste your time. And so animals, if we're just animals, which we're not, we're made in God's image, every single man, woman, boy, and girl. If that's the case, though, if we're just animals, then it doesn't matter. Morality is whatever you want it to be. So if you want to say lying is fine, then guess what? Lying is fine. So the worldview of CNN is just nothing but hypocrisy. Because they're constantly talking about stealing and lying and this and that and deception and uh, and all these bad things. Meanwhile, they're you know they're gonna hook, line, and sinker support anything related to Planned Parenthood or uh, same-sex marriage or any sort of other kind of aberrant. Not everything, not like you know other things that are down the pike probably, but not here yet. But they're supporting a lot of these things. And it's like well because this is culturally relevant now. We've eroded this part. Now the things that God called evil, we would call evil. Now, we call it good, right? But woe to those who call evil good and good evil. It's not good to do that. The scripture's clear. And the woe is not like a Keanu Reeves, like, whoa, man, like, you know, hipster surfer guy. It's woe to you. You're, you're being condemned. That's, and that's God's word. That's, you know, it's not my word. I'm just repeating it. I'm just the, as I heard uh, recently, Vody Bauckham said, He's like, I don't write the mail. I just deliver it. I love that. It's good. I haven't used it in a sermon yet, but I will. Anyway, the point is CNN does not have a moral anything. They don't even have a moral high ground. They have no ground. There's nothing. They can't call someone lying or this or that. This guy, Michael Wolf, says, you're part of the problem. Well, what should I do? You know, and he laughs. I mean, that's the thing. When people, when people laugh when they're, when they're approached in um, a hard situation, just think of, Harris and all her cackling. Um, I mean, just just imagine if Pence... I don't think I ever saw Pence laugh once in four years. But anyway, not like I paid attention a lot. But, I mean, Harris laughs about... What about the border, border crisis? <laughs> what? What about you smoking weed in college? <laughs> what about you calling Joe Biden a racist? <laughs> it's like... Okay, so now that you're done laughing, I'm not sure why you were laughing. What's the answer? Like... <laughs> I just like I don't I don't I don't I don't get it. Maybe put in the comments in the comments below if you know what she's laughing at because maybe you're in on the joke because I mean maybe it's a joke that she's even vice president. I, that's what she's laughing at. People actually think she's an authority. She's laughing at the fact that people think she has some sort of intelligence. I I, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to disrespect the office of vice president. Um, so I'm going to stop there. But that's what Stelter and other people will just laugh. As if, and it's a nervous tactic, you can go on YouTube and find all sorts of, you know, TED Talks and whatever about uh, nervous behaviors and certain things and tics that people will do when they're lying. You know, I love those little like FBI or CIA things. You know, it's like some expert talking about um, the spy tricks they used and how to spot a liar and they're fun. CNN though does not have a moral high ground. They have no ground. And uh, for Brian Stelter to have a, a show called Reliable Sources I mean, it's the classic oxymoron. Like, it, you're reliable to whom? Like, it doesn't even, for what? You're not, we all know that it's not. And if you don't know that CNN is nothing but a leftist propaganda machine and has been for years, it's not the CNN from like 2008, right? 2006, 2004, and so on, where they were trying to be a middle. Remember MSNBC was, was formed and Fox News was formed? They're all very new. 
This Fox News was on the right, MSNBC was on the left, or vice versa, however my hands are. And CNN was supposed to be in the middle. That's why you would watch it at the restaurants or you're getting your oil changed or something. You're like, oh, well, CNN, you know, they're kind of in the middle. They're not in the middle and they have not been in the middle for a long time. It didn't uh, pay well. Uh, ratings were not very good kind of being a middle ground. And most people don't want a middle ground. Most people want someone with a spine to stand up and say, abortion's fine, or stand up and say, abortion's murder, and not be like, well, you know, sometimes abortion kind of... You know, and you waffle back and forth without making any actual statements. And most people don't want that. Most people want to have, what do you believe? What do you believe about this hot button issue? What about this topic? What about this theological thing? What is it? What do you believe? Even if it's you're totally against it, you still want to know what they believe, right? So anyway, shorter video today, uh, but I hope you are well. And uh, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you think Brian Stelter is a reliable source, or uh, if you differ as far as the truth or my truth claims of saying there is only absolute truth found in Christ and in the Bible and in Christian worldview, uh, please let me know. I'd love to talk about it. And um, yeah, that's it. But again, lest we forget, my desire is to help you be against the world for the sake of the world, because God said so. Take care. All right, still rolling. Hey everyone, welcome to Contra Thoughts. 